Hey gang, welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, we will be talking about the brand Lug. More specifically, their vegan leather cable car crossbody slash shoulder bag. This bag, as I always say about the vegan leather, because I really am a huge fan, is stunning. The color is so pretty it goes beautifully with the camo rose crossbody strap which is also the interior pattern which i love that camo rose um now the one thing i will say it, to my eye the pink almost has kind of like um like a almost a beige kind of undertone so it makes it a little bit more muted a little bit more neutral um if that makes sense and i love that um i think it goes beautiful with brown um, I love it with gray. I put this bag with everything. I don't even care if my outfit matches, but I do think that that's a really unique feature about this particular blush pink color. Now, I have nothing in the regular fabrication of blush pink, so I don't know if the vegan leather is comparable, if that makes sense. Um, so that that's my opinion about that. I have it packed full, so I'll be unpacking it as I go through the features. So. First things first, there are two straps. The first being your vegan leather strap, which is the shoulder strap, which I love. I think the shoulder strap gives it a nice little fancy feel. So it is fully removable. So I'll just take this one off. That brings me to the second strap it comes with, which is the Camo Rose crossbody, fully adjustable, fully removable strap. Love the Camo Rose. I also love that both straps are one and a half inch straps. It distributes the weight more evenly. I carry a lot of stuff in my bag, so they tend to get heavy. The bag itself is heavier than I assume a normal fabrication would be. So I will take that off to get that out of the way. Then on the D-rings, because I like to put things outside my purse, I have my little Mickey Mouse um, hand sanitizer that I got from the Disney store. And I also have a rainbow navy lug pouch. So now on to the main part of the bag. As you can see from the outside, there's your dedicated cell phone pocket along with two zippered compartments. These pockets are kind of stacked so they all share real estate as well as with one pocket on the inside, which I'll get to. They don't really have... There's a bit of give, but they don't really have their own gusset. So keep that in mind. Um, it has the cursive lug plate. There are no feet, um, but essentially again, with the vegan leather, the whole thing is wipeable. Do not get your hand sanitizer on it though. Oh my goodness, I have a vegan leather hatchback. I got the tiniest drop of hand sanitizer on the back of the bag, left a little discoloration. You can't see it, it was all on me but that was really frustrating but someone in our group our facebook group did mention that please be careful with your hand sanitizer also just at this point in the video too as long as we're going off on a little bit of a tangent i just want to say i don't know if anybody saw my ikea haul video but this is a scar i don't have anything under my lip no dirt no no food it's actually a scar that's what that is all right so anyway we'll get to this beautiful quilting design i do love that very beautiful i do love that it's only on the side of the bags and not the entire bag. Um, but that's just a personal preference for me. Anyway, all right, so you have your dedicated cell phone pocket. This is a north-south configuration cell phone pocket. I have my sample phone, which is as big as my iPhone XR, um, with a pop socket, in and out, well, ha, despite user error, in and out very easily, fully lined interior, just a nice plain gray fleece. Then to the pocket right underneath that, beautiful smooth zippers as per standard lug. I love that it's the gunmetal gray for the zipper pull, but the zippers themselves match the color of the bag. In this pocket, you have a key bungee. Keep my husband's spare keys on that, so I always know where those are. I have a leopard brown coin pouch from lug, chapstick, and a nail file. So that's all I really keep in there. Now, also in this pocket, as far as other organizational features, you will see there is a clear pocket. You could put ID in there if you want. And then there's two, I don't know if you can see it, two card slots underneath that. Now they don't have the contrasting trim. Sometimes prefer a contrasting trim just so you can absolutely see where those card slots begin. This pocket also goes all the way down to the bottom of the back. Now, the pocket underneath that, again, beautiful smooth zipper. I just keep two reusable grocery totes in there. Um, it has no other organizational features. 
and it does also go down to the bottom of the bag. And you flip it over to the back of the bag and you will see it has a really nice slip pocket with a magnetic closure. Um, I don't really keep anything uh, too bulky in here. I did try to put my food journal in here. It made it just a little bit bulky and didn't kind of close the magnet uh, to my liking. So I just basically stick pieces of paper, receipts, whatever. But right now there's really nothing in there. So on to inside, excuse me, of the bag. Now the opening is really, really nice. I will try to insert a picture. I actually did a measurement. I wanna say it was like seven inches wide that you could open it, but I'll put the picture somewhere here where I have the ruler to give you a kind of a, an idea as to how wide this bag actually can open because it does open quite nicely. You can see everything I have in there. Um, so first things first, I have my A6 leather planner. I have my Splits XL, Splits XL wallet. So I have my Vera Bradley personal journal. I have that in there in the main part. And that is it for the, oh, nope, that's not it for the main part. So in the main part, you will see there is a water bottle holder. Now this elastic is not a tight elastic. I wish it was tighter so it would tuck better, but it does tuck to the side of the bag when you're not using it. So it doesn't take up any inside real estate. I don't put a water bottle in here because I carry like a huge 40 ounce um, water bottle around. What I do is actually put my little travel size Lysol. So it's standing up. I always know where it is. And then I can just tuck the rest of the, you know, tuck the pocket in there so that it doesn't interfere with what else I put in the main portion of the bag. That's my, what I do. I know some people put in sunglasses cases. I haven't done that yet. I did actually put in a protein shake, a small protein shake uh, the other day when I was running errands. That fit very nicely. I've also, uh, with the Lysol, I've stuck in a couple protein bars. Those fit very nicely without eating too much into the interior. I was still able to fit my other things. So just to keep in mind. One thing uh, you will also find in this bag, there are two stacked pockets, uh, very reminiscent of the gondola, but it just doesn't have that bottom, bottom teeny pocket like the gondola has. So it has two. Um, again, for me, it's a real estate issue. I just put slim profile items in there. They also have two pen slots, which, oh, you know how much I love my pen slots. So with this one, I just have a little to-do list pad because um, I'm still doing tons of stuff with the house. I have another little uh, notepad um, and then, yeah, just the two pens. Um, and then also with the to-do list notepad, I keep a very thin comb and that is it for those pockets. Now this top pocket, the larger of the two stacked pockets is like half fleece lined. So you can put sunglasses in here if you want or readers or what have you. Um, and it goes down to the bottom of the bag the other smaller pocket in front of it is not lined. Um, also next to that, you have a privacy pocket and this goes about half across the bag. I like it, um, it is cute. The I will say though, I wish the zipper was a little stronger, if that makes sense, because sometimes the zipper kind of scooches open. Not a deal breaker, but there's just something I've noticed. Um, in here, I just keep a little shiny unicorn pouch, which I have all my little miscellaneous tchotchkes in there. Um, when you flip it over to the other side, there is your clear view pocket. This again, shares real estate with the outside pockets. So I only keep purse holder for the table, my ch another chapstick, they're all over the place, um, phone cord, another little charging box in there. So that is that for the interior. I love it. I, you know, I, I tend to say this about all lug bags. I, I love the functionality, I love the organization. I am a person who in my purses, I start to get a little antsy if they're totally cluttered up. Um, so the fact that I can have a dedicated spot for generally everything I carry with me on a daily basis really, really helps me out. Um, and yeah, I just, I think it's gorgeous. I love, I love this vegan leather. There was no smell at all to this one, not even the faintest smell. Last video with the hatchback, there was the teeniest smell, but it dissipated very quickly and then nothing, no smell at all with this one whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I just, I love how beautiful it is. I love the quilting. I love everything about it. I can't recommend this one highly enough. It is a little bit on the pricier side though, because it is the vegan leather. I do hope that Lug comes out with a regular fabrication of this bag. I think that would be really nice. I do know that a lot of people um, 
also want regular fabrications. But that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.